A world of aviation history has been made right here at Edwards Air Force Base, including the time a woman with not so much jet experience flew an F-86 similar to this one right into the history books to become the first woman to break the sound barrier. Though she originally had no flying aspirations, Jackie Cochran took to the sky like she was born to fly. I soloed the first time in 1932 and I had never seen an airplane on the ground until Saturday morning and I soloed Monday morning. She went on to set speed and altitude records. In 1940, she became the first woman to pilot a bomber across the North Atlantic. And by 1943, she was directing the Women's Air Force Service Pilots Program, or WASPs, as they came to be known. Ms. Cochran, more than anyone in the Army, is responsible for what is taking place. After World War II, Jackie turned to jets. She became a test pilot for the Canadian manufacturer of the F-86, a company in which her husband had ownership. She set her sights on the sound barrier, on Chuck Yeager to help her break it, and on Edwards Air Force Base as the place to make it happen. There's 46 square miles of hard-packed bentonite clay out there. The whole lake bed behind me has also been the site of Chuck Yeager. Uh, when he broke the sound barrier in 1947. The director of the documentary, Jackie Cochran, First Lady of Flight, says some things had to happen, though, before Jackie could start training. Chuck Yeager told me that back then, in like the early 1950s, it cost $10,000 per flight that Jackie Cochran had to pay just for the insurance of the flight. General D. Little came out. Came down to he sat me down, you know, and said, do you think Jackie can hack this program? Because we don't want the Air Force embarrassed, you know, if something happens to her. Well, I said, I think she can hack it. And she did. On May 18, 1953, Jackie Cochran became the first woman to break the sound barrier, and she did it at Edwards Air Force Base. But she didn't stop there. She went on to break more jet speed records well into her 50s. Jackie was good. She was as good as the guys were. And uh, being a woman, that didn't make any difference. Jacqueline Cochran passed away in 1980, but not before she showed the world how far and how high women could go. At Edwards Air Force Base, Barbara Sharp for Spectrum News.